Hi, this is Quad, and in this video, I want to tell you about CD8 effector T cell. Here is a naive CD8 T cell, and naive T cells are in secondary lymphoid tissue. And here is a cell, it could be any cell, and if this cell has a problematic things in its cytosol could be from viral infection then when it presents its cytosolic things to adaptive immunity with mhc1 a piece of the problem will be presented but this cell cannot directly communicate with the naive t cell in the secondary lymphoid tissue and this is where the dendritic cell comes in an immature dendritic cell is good at receiving molecules from other cells so that problematic piece will go to the dendritic cell and this dendritic cell will activate and become a mature dendritic cell which becomes not that good at receiving anymore but good at getting to the secondary lymphoid tissue and presenting the molecule that it received on dendritic cells MHC1. This dendritic cell has no problem in its cytosol the problem was in this cell, but the dendritic cell presented it on its own MHC1. So this ability to uh, get molecules from other cells and presenting on MHC1 and MHC2 is called cross-presentation and it can only be done by dendritic cells. And in the secondary lymphoid tissue, the incoming dendritic cell can activate a naive CD8 T cell, but the activation of naive CD8 T cell also needs help from effector CD4 T cell and with the T cell receptor of the naive CD8 T cell recognizing this MHC1 peptide complex and with the help from the effector CD4 T cell naive cell can become effector CD8 T cell and this effector CD8 T cell will now go out of the secondary lymphoid tissue to the body and when this effector CD8 T cell gets to the source of the problem, this effector cell can react to this molecule. It's the same molecule that the dendritic cell brought in. And this secondary stimulation here uh, doesn't need the help from the effector CD4 T cell. And with this secondary stimulation at the cell with the problem, the effector CD8 T cell will now become cytotoxic T cell. And this cytotoxic T cell will hold on to the problematic cell and release a lot of granules towards the target cell. These granules contain things like granzyme, perforin. Perforin can open up a hole on this cell's membrane and granzymes can go through the hole, break target cells and nucleus. So the toxic things in the granule will trigger target cell apoptosis. Cytotoxic T cells secrete fast ligands. And when a fast ligand binds to a fast receptor, which is commonly expressed on immune cells or blood cells, this fast signaling also trigger apoptosis. The cytotoxic T cell wants the target cell to break everything in the target cell and then die and this is apoptosis a clean perfect death the cytotoxic t cell will do it only against the target cell that it's binding to and spare the neighboring healthy cells uh, intact there are dendritic cells that look like plasma cells and these dendritic cells are called the plasma cytoid dendritic cells they can also receive things from other cells and when plasma cytoid dendritic cells is activated, the P dendritic cell will secrete chemicals that will help immature dendritic cell to take up things, mature dendritic cell to get to the secondary lymphocyte and presentation to work better. There are also pathogens that can directly target dendritic cell and suppress its ability to present. And things that PDC secrete increase the ability of dendritic cells to take, get to the secondary lymphoid tissue and present the 
antigen to the naive CD8 T cells. The molecules PDC secrete can activate NK cells. Finally, differentiation from effector CD8 T cell to cytotoxic CD8 T cell triggered by this binding uses transcription factor EOMS and TBET. TBET is also a transcription factor used by T helper cell 1 and T helper cell 1 activate macrophage to destroy things that the macrophage took in. So overall, the CD8 effector T cell cleanly destroy cells with problem. And often the problems come from viral infection. And in this cascade of event, NK cells, which are also good at targeting cells with the problem, will be activated. And the cytotoxic T cell resemble a little bit the T helper one because they have same T bed transcription factor, so they make similar genes and proteins. And T helper one is also specializing destroying intracellular things uh, through macrophage.